So now we're going to look at the concept for magnetic forces on current carrying wires. And we're going to start by our earlier concept of looking at electrons moving in a magnetic field. The equation we had for that was that the magnetic force was equal to Q V cross B. And when we had this particular equation, we recognized that that V cross B meant that they were always perpendicular and that resulted in a circular motion of the charges inside that magnetic field. But these were free charges. So what about charges that aren't free, meaning they can't move in any direction they want? Specifically, we're going to look at the example of a current in a wire. So here's a wire laying horizontally. In this case, when we think about the charges, the protons don't move and the electrons can move along the wire. So that means they could go to the left or the right, but they can't go up and down or in squiggles or any other type of motion. So let's take our little wire here and put it into a magnetic field. And again, these X's represent the back side of a magnetic field that's pointed into the screen. So if I define my current as being to the right, then my electrons are actually negative charges moving in the negative direction to the left. So now I can think about my right hand rule. And you'll want to do this along with me just so you can really see what's happening here. Remember, you'll use your right hand, your fingers are representing the magnetic field and so they have to point into the screen. Do you have your hand pointed into the screen? Now your thumb is going to represent your velocity, so your thumb's got to be pointed off towards the left. When that happens, if you're doing this along with me, what you see is that your palm is facing down and the back of your hand is facing up. Now if these were positive charges, the force would be with your palm down, but because they're negative charges, that means my force actually goes with the back of my hand upwards. So this little electron right here, which is moving to the left in a magnetic field pointed into the board, into your screen, is going to have a force pulling it upwards. But not just this electron, every single electron in this wire has the same sort of force. But those electrons aren't allowed to move upwards. Instead, we have a whole force pulling up on our wire. So we expect that there's going to be a force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. But we don't really want to work with it on an individual charge by charge basis. So we still need the equation to represent this current carrying wire. We're going to get that in our next video. So that wraps up the conceptual view here.